In the quiet town of Blackwood, nestled deep within the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia, a sinister secret lay hidden beneath its picturesque facade. It was a place where the whispers of the past could be heard in the rustling leaves, and the shadows held their own chilling tales. The town's history was marred by a gruesome event that occurred in the late 1800s. The townsfolk had gathered at a grand masquerade ball in the opulent Blackwood Manor, a sprawling mansion atop a hill. The air was filled with laughter and the soft melodies of violins, but as the night wore on, an eerie unease settled over the guests. Legend had it that the host, a reclusive and enigmatic figure named Elijah Blackwood, had made a pact with the devil himself. As the clock struck midnight, the mansion plunged into darkness, and terrified screams filled the night. When dawn broke, the grand ballroom was found empty, devoid of life, and a blood-red pentagram etched onto the floor. In the years that followed, Blackwood became a ghost town. Those who dared to venture too close after nightfall spoke of ghostly apparitions, strange sounds, and the unsettling feeling of being watched. But the true horror began when a group of college students, seeking adventure and ignoring the warnings, decided to spend the night in the abandoned Blackwood Manor. They entered the decaying mansion, their flashlights casting eerie shadows on the rotting walls. The air was thick with a malevolent presence, and the temperature dropped ominously. As the night wore on, they heard faint whispers in the darkness, the same whispered promises made by Elijah Blackwood centuries ago. One by one, the students disappeared, their terrified cries echoing through the mansion's haunted halls. Desperate and petrified, the last survivor stumbled upon a hidden chamber in the bowels of the manor. There, a grotesque altar stood, adorned with ancient tomes and cursed artifacts. As the survivor read from one of the forbidden books, a portal to a hellish dimension cracked open and a horde of nightmarish creatures poured forth. The survivor's agonized screams joined the chorus of lost souls that had cursed Blackwood for generations. To this day, Blackwood remains a place where darkness reigns supreme, where the sins of the past continue to haunt its forsaken streets, and where those who dare to enter are never seen again. The town of Blackwood stands as a chilling reminder that some secrets are better left buried, and that in America, horror can find a home in the most unexpected of places. The town of Blackwood stands as a chilling reminder that some secrets are better left buried, and that in America, horror can find a home in the most unexpected of places. As the years passed, the tale of Blackwood became a cautionary legend, a story parents told their children to keep them away from the cursed hill and its malevolent manner. The town became an eerie relic of its former self, a place where no birds sang and no flowers bloomed. But for those who knew the truth, for those who had witnessed the horrors that dwelled within Blackwood's cursed walls, the nightmare was far from over. The survivor who had unwittingly unleashed the demonic forces from the hidden chamber wandered the earth, forever tormented by guilt and hunted by the vengeful spirits that now roamed the town. In the darkness of night, the chilling whispers of the past could still be heard in Blackwood, and the shadows danced to an otherworldly tune. The town remained a place where the line between the living and the dead blurred, where the sins of the past clung to the present, and where the true horror of America's heartland lay hidden, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to stumble upon its malevolent secrets. And so, the legend of Blackwood lived on, a sinister tale etched into the annals of American horror, a cautionary reminder that some darkness cannot be vanquished, and that the most terrifying stories are often the ones that are all too real.